Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Boy Sam from our trading here, and today we'll be looking into Shiba Inu once again. Now, in the last video, you'll remember I said that we are likely to see a breakout. Now, you you were all probably pretty worried when we fell below this this um sort of level of support which i drew before now i was worried as well when we dropped below it but as you can see it seems to have been a false breakout or breakdown so that is a positive we have managed to stay within the flag kind of we dropped below it but we bounced straight back up so what we saw right there was what is called a false breakout and we are still maintaining within this bearish flag as you can see now like i said if we can break this upper bracket of this bearish flag we will see some positive price action we will see the price spike up and i think it will probably spike up to around this level here around the 0 0.000076 mark which is why i said in my last video as well but you know a lot of people were saying that you know i was clickbaiting the title like by saying that there's an imminent breakout and i will admit right i was wrong to say imminent in the title and, you know, I can hold my hands up and say I apologize to anyone who, you know, like sort of went off the title. Because in my opinion, that, that was wrong of me. That, that was wrong of me. And I think in all of your opinion, that was wrong of me to say. However, in my opinion, I still believe there is going to be a breakout. But instead of saying that it's going to be imminent, which obviously is the, is the stock market, it's the security market. So it, it's not, nothing is imminent. Nothing is secure. So that's where I messed up, but I believe that there will be a breakout. So I will continue to put out the content that I believe. This is my channel and I'm allowed to say what I think is going to happen. So I hope you will appreciate that. You know, if, if the video is not for you, the video is not for you. And I, I, I'm i sorry that, you know, my content doesn't cater to what you want, but I know a lot of people do enjoy my content. So, you know, I'm just going to keep providing, keep bringing the content out and I hope you all enjoy it really. I, this is this is all for entertainment purposes only and not financial advice. And I stress that at around some point in the video, every single video. So I just wanted to clear all that up because, you know, I don't want you all to get the wrong impression of me. You know, I, I love my viewers. Like I want to make sure that everyone is making money and I am here to, you know, bring to you the facts and give you the research behind what is going on you know i understand the market fairly well as you can see i did call once we did break out of this bearish cycle we the, the flag and the graph was actually correct in the sense that as soon as we broke down out of this bearish cycle we did see a drop but we did springboard back up again which is positive right but you know you you have to bear in mind that i'm not going to get it right every time and you know that's the harsh reality and i don't think any stock trader really or any crypto investor is going to get it right every time so i just wanted to have a chat with you all about that now in today's technical analysis we're going to look at the relative strength index obviously it's a very very important factor as to where we could see today now interestingly enough as you see on the on the rsi you can sort of see this double double bottom graph happening which is very very positive and that is why we have seen a nice little spike in price action and i believe that we are going to see the price action go up slightly more but is it going to be enough to cat to like be a catalyst to get out of this bearish flag that we have been in in my opinion i think we are going to stay within this flag today However, I believe we will see some price action tomorrow's day of trading. And, you know, that, that that's all my prediction again and, you know, not financial advice. But, you know, this is what I think is going to happen. And as you can see as well, according to the moving average, you can sort of see that we have been in this lower bracket. We, we have sort of been trained below the moving average before we have seen a recent spike up from it. And, you know, the fact that we've been trading above the moving average will eventually increase the moving average price. So we will stay up and continue being bullish today, hopefully. And I imagine the you know today's obviously crypto is a twenty four hour thing, so you know I imagine by twelve o'clock uh, GMT time we will probably see the price be within this bearish flag, but you never know we may break out of it today we may have a massive surge we may have some massive buying power coming in, 
You just never know with this security. Shiba Inu is one of those that, because because it's such a low cap coin, there is so much quantity being bought up. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, you know, for example, me, just an ordinary bloke owns 300, I, I, I said 330 million in my last video. I checked today on my Binance wallet and I have 309 million, but I am looking to add more to my position. So I will make it 330 million. You best believe, right? So again, keeping full transparency with my viewers, that is exactly what I hold. And, you know, I expect to be doing a live stream today as well, so be sure to tune in there. Let's have a quick look at the MACD because that's also another positive indicator to see whereabouts we're trading. Now, we have been trading heavily below the MACD and we have been bearish. However, you sort of see from this price resurgence, you, you sort of see this MACD starting to spike back up again, which is very, very positive. And that's something that we're going to need. We're going to need to see this bullish crossover like at this, at this point here. We need this to happen to break out of this bearish cycle that we have been in for a while. So, everyone who is watching right now i would advise you all uh, not advise you like you know i'd recommend you all to keep an eye on the macd because this is going to be important when you see this crossover so you see it go go over this sort of middle red line here you will see some positive price action because that's how the market works right so you know, that is what I can see today. You know, we, we never actually hit our, our lower support structure at the 0.0006 uh, for six mark. So that's positive. We managed to say within uh, around this this uh, 0.618 mark for the Fibonacci retracement. So 0.0000714, right? So we are in good stead at the moment. And hopefully we can continue this upward trend. And yeah. We, we can all have a good time and hopefully make a lot of money. Now, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for you. It really helps the channel out. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video on the channel. Take care, everyone.